Here's something that we covered in class recently. How to frame your roof. First of all, select your roof. And then we're going to go to Design. Roof Extras. Roof Maker. And then Roof Wizard. If you've got a single plane roof, use the Create Multiple Rafters. I'll show you how to use that first. So we click one component, so we click on that component, and then we can create multiple rafters. So 45 millimeters wide, 90 millimeters high, so just under two inches wide, just under four inches high, and a hip rafter, we'll make that a zero because we're not gonna put one in. Vertical edge at the top, vertical edge at the bottom, and we're gonna show them dotted, and we want our distance to be 600 millimeters. And we want this to be a fixed distance. Let's go okay. Click to start, so click on that dot there to start, click at this dot to finish, and your rafters go in. So I'm just going to undo that because I'd like to show you the roof wizard. Design, roof extras, roof maker, and roof wizard. Now on the roof wizard we can make rafters, 45 by 90 again. Again we're going to make them 600 apart, minimal gap. So what's the minimum gap willing to accept? 500, we'll say. Do we want extra rafters there? Yes. Do we want to add extra rafters to corners? Yes. Do we want to join? Yes, we'll do that. And we'll stagger those. No, we won't do that. So vertical at the top, create rafters. Now beams. So do we want to create tie beams or collar beams? No, we don't want to create those. Purlins. So this is, a, I often call this a ridge beam, so we'll make this again 45 by 90. And we'll put this between the rafters, that goes under the rafters, that goes between, and we won't put one of those on the eaves. In some situations you'll need to increase this substantially, so it might be 90 by 140 for some situations. Don't forget to check your code to get that correct. So what about my trimmers? No, don't want trimmers. And ridges, yes, since it's a hip roof, I want to create ridges, so 45 by 90 again. And again, if we look back at our purlins and we said that that was 90 by 140, then maybe these need to be the same. Don't forget to check your code to make sure you've got the right amounts. Then you click OK, a little bit of a think, and it finds them all for you. Let's have a look at our 3D perspective now. There it is there. Let's make sure we can see everything. So layer combinations, choose all, and there everything is. Now I might have my roof covering still. So there's my old roof. Let's get rid of that. And so I've got an old roof. My walls are not trimming to my roof. So select my roof, right click, connect, trim elements, yes. Now you might notice in this situation that my rafters are smaller than my roof, which is what we want. If we made that roof just a thickness for the metal, so in other words it was about 20 millimeters, or just over an inch, then you notice that I can actually see all my rafters. Now what that means is I'm going to have to increase the height of this to that, so I'm going to have to add 90, uh, calculate it, so that's plus 90 there. And so that'll put my metal on top of my rafters. So now my rafters are exposed underneath and I can just have a look around and you can see there they are.